Thunderfang. Okay, I made a huge mistake. Everything went blank. <gasps> oh, I drop items? Yeah! Oh yeah, yeah, I have clothes. I have new clothes, right? The Baneful Fox Mask. Ooh, it's blocking my beautiful face. I'm gonna leave that off. No! Don't! Ah! Yay! 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 Grale! Yay! Grale! Grale! We're gonna use the Grale. We're gonna use the Grale kimono. Oh, it looks nice. It looks nice. It fits on me. It fits. With my lustrous silver hair, it fits. Hi, Kari. There you are. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Adamant? Finally realize you're wasting almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. Adamant? Ah, these two. There you go again, insisting on your false image of almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true, true almighty Sinnoh. Aha, I was right! I was right! The tr almighty Sinnohs are the gods. I was right. I was right. They're talking about time and space. My people follow the true almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Pearl. Basically Pearl. Am I recording? Okay, I'm recording. Ha! You could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Oh! <laughs> he got you there. He got you there. Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast Hisui space? Oh, better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time. Almighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you get lost in a pointless vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Oh, me? Get lost? In Almighty Sinnoh's great lift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis? You wish. <laughs> I wish I hadn't let myself get dragged in arguing with you. Almighty Sino, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. Commander Kamado, go, go, go. I believe it was you who started this. <laughs> wow. You can feel the tension when those two show up. Just like Palkia and Dialga. Brother and sister that does not want to cooperate with each other. <laughs> and you have to leave it up to Arceus. <laughs> you haven't met them, have you? The woman with the severance for space is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who was going on and about time, Adaman, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan gradually coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. Okay, but before that... But before that, I'm going to be farming! I'm going to be farming! Okay, so interesting thing. Ir interesting thing. When I was making episodes, it, which, by the way, once again, it was very difficult to judge on how long the episodes are going to be because of my long chats here. And these chats tend to be really long and take up so much time. And by, by the way, I'm wasting more time. When I noticed something about Diamond Clan in the, la like, in the last episode, that got me the feeling of, wait, Diamond Clan. So it's referencing Diamond as in Dialga? And then now that we get a full picture about the two leaders, or I think two leaders, right? The two leaders? The two leaders of both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. It's clear to my mind, the Almighty Sinnohs are the gods. So that is a good thing. That is actually a good thing that I actually know what the Almighty Word is. So I'm guessing I was right. 
that space-time rift is Dialga and Palkia's doing, and Arceus is trying to soothe the connection between the two, in a sense. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. And we going outside, so that way I can farm. And while I farm, you get to enjoy the best music from any Pokemon game, which is Pokemon Coliseum. Let's go! I don't even know if I'm gonna be playing Pokemon Coliseum music. I don't even know. I just know I'm gonna be putting it, but I don't know if I should. Yeet! Ah, fine. Fine! Let's go! Fine! No eyes! How dare you! <laughs> I'm sorry if that sounded- I'm sorry if that sounded rude. <laughs> Yeet! <gasps> oh, there you are! This is your area. God, I was hearing that cry and it, it sounded familiar. It sounded trancing. But now, I kinda know what it is now. Yeet! Yes, yes, yes. Hopefully it's enough. Woo! I got the alpha! I got the alpha! Alpha, alpha, I got the alpha, I got the alpha, I got the, I got the alpha, I got the alpha. I'm gonna craft more of these. These are powerful. Oh, I'm gonna use them for the alphas. I really like these alpha. These alphas are actually better than the G Gigantamax. They're way better than G the Gigantamax. Because they actually make more sense. Like, an alpha, it makes much more sense because that's how, that's how, like, wildlife is. Of course, there's gonna be these huge alpha guys who are just gonna be just good at everything else. What the heck? What are you doing, Bidoof? What? What? What are you doing? <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? Bidoof! Hey! <laughs> Literally, you just need to, like, walk up to them. And you're good. They'll just run from you and you get to... Not that! You get to do that! <laughs> Not miss, like a dumbass. But like... You know... Like that! <laughs> Well, they're, they're, they're a lot more smaller. Wow, that is mind-boggling, of how size, si like, how much a big size that alpha was. Okay, I need to capture a few of these Pokemon since they are new to my Pokedex, or new to the Pokedex in general, in a sense. He googly-eyed crabs. Ah, <laughs> look at them! We go, we go. Oh. Oh! Ah! Run like your life depends on it! Five minutes later. Alright, alright. That one, I give up. I give up on that. I totally give up on that. <laughs> Edge of style. Oh, I have four enemies? Oh, wow. I have four enemies. This is not good. I really like this though. It, this is just not looking really good right now. Come on, Lucio. You can do it. You can do it, Lucio. Thundershock. Agile. <laughs> I, I, I really like that you can have more enemies in this. It's awesome. But very deadly. Flame wheel. Okay, last one. Ember, strong style. Pew. Good ponyta. Good ponyta. Wow. Ay, ay, ay. What a mess. What a mess. Oh, here you go, Laventon. Here's my report. 35 Pokemon, yes, yes. Trafficking! Yes. 9,000! Oh! Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. One alpha Pokemon caught as well. Alright, and I apologize. I just checked the gender of the Wurmple I have given you. It is a male. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Yeah, I, I apologize for calling it Butacea. I apologize 
for calling your lovely new wormpole Budusia, even though it's a male. It's what happens when I don't pay attention to what I give. But that's trafficking, what can you do? Krogus, yes! Woo! Three star! Three star! <laughs> look at Cynical enjoying these cherry berries. And look at Ashawat. <laughs> and this is where Rowlet would have been. I like it. It's so zen. I like it. And you get to eat orange berries. I knew orange berries was her favorite hoodle. I knew it. And see what is this business going on with Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan. I hope I don't get to decide the fate of who dies. No. <laughs> no. I just hope there's nothing like that, hopefully. Because I'm with God's side. The true God. What do you intend to do about the Clevor, Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. Do You do get right to the point, Adam Adam. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Clover is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? Ah, that's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back on each other's throats. Just like we used to be. Oh. But even folk at the Galaxy Team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Clever into such violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. It's first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm. Let's see you arrived. Hi. This is Zorin. The newest member of our survey corps. Hi! Aha! I hear from my you earned weird deer's favor. <laughs> okay, that's the last time. That is the last time I'm gonna call him weird deer. It's with deer. Why deer? Okay? 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 I'm calling it why deer from now on. I'm not gonna absolutely say weird deer at all in the future Let's Plays. Maybe. Yes, that is, that is me. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamant. If you come from beyond space to time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sino is said to reside? Possibly. I am Marita, leader of the Pearl Clan, caution and foresight of my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through the rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Clever before deciding what must be done? You send the stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Clever? This newcomer with no experience? I have experience, I may ask you or tell you. I have experience. I have come from the past. What? You know, I came from Space Time Rift. I was sent by Arceus to deal with the shenanigans between the two and between Palkia and Dialga because you two can't make up. So you have no right to call me no experience. Says the leader with almost no experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wrecked him. You, you wrecked her. Jeez. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing his Sui's vastness without fear. Well, then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, let's give this kid his chance. Yay! Thank you, Adaman. I'm actually loving you a lot more. Thank you, man. You're such a chad. I'm so Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are. With all your weird ways, putting Pokemon into those strange balls and, and what you have. That whole practice bothers me. 
Almighty Sinnoh made Hisui vast so Pokemon can live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. Hmm. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show what we can do. Wow. This is your mission now, Zorn. I order you to study clever and help us find the truth of this situation. Yes, sir. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. The Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods mission. Oh, I get to meet the raging, uh... The raging alpha or clever, or wh whoever this like, like descendant of the almighty Palkia. Interesting. Well, that's settled, and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, clever, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Got it. Okay. Listen to me. The Galaxy Extradition Team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clans. Understand? Of course, sir. Join me downstairs, Zorin. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Okay. Ah! Debriefing! Report to your captain in our office to learn more about your next mission. Alright. This is starting to become much more interesting. More interaction with those who are close to the gods themselves. Or worship the gods. Respectively, in time and space. Amazing. Akari, hi! Hi! Ah, good. You're already here. Mm hmm. Professor Laventon, the breathing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Zarn. I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Clever's frenzied state, but as you're aware by now, Clever is a mighty thing, nigh invincible even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Clever when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems his far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of the Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of the battle once they've riled. Hmm, I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you to extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course, Celine. Even though you almost left me for dead. Of course. Very well, then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and the Pearl Clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. Ah, so perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sort of offerings they normally leave for these, this clever. Hmm. Zorin, we may need to speak with you. Oh, yes, hi! Hi, you Adam and Anna and Mai. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So, if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you travel through time. By Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must have been just swimming in this divine might. Well, I got a favor to ask of you, almighty time traveler. Don't just study clever, quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adaman. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole clever situation. Oh, you must be that galaxy scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Clever. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too. 
but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy team, of all people, for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our own hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown to the same type of frenzy as Clever. Really? Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still. We've all got to share Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. I believe in that too, Adamen, but there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we got. You'll find Clever at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon, okay. Leon, I'll keep track of that name. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit... Well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know? <laughs> okay, so he's cocky. Okay, <laughs> that's all I needed to know. He will tell you all about his beloved Clevor, whether you wish him to or not. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. See you later, Anime Man. I, I, I love that man. I'm not falling in love with him. Only Rousey I like. He certainly left quickly once he'd finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Yeah, yeah, he, he does. Adamant and Mai weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Clavar, you best start visiting his abode. Got it. Five medical leaks, yes. Okay, okay. Oh my god, I'm excited. I am so excited. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across? Satchel seem, always seems full. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this is a perfect time because I just got medical leaks and it got, it got, it, like I had to put it in a storage. I'm running out of space. Teach me. I like your initiative. A teaching fee is a neat 100. Oh, uh, 100? What? What? That's literally $1. <laughs> wow, if only college was like that. You made space to keep one more my... One more kind of item in your satchel? One more kind of ad? What? See how much more you fit things packing lightly? If you want to be able to carry even more things, there's more I could teach you. What do you say? Teach me! 200! Okay, this is why. This is why. Teach me! Teach me! Teach me! Teach me! Five minutes later. Okay, how many times can you actually do this? <laughs> Holy crap. Maybe this is not a good idea. Goodness sake, this is a lot of space. Oh my god, how many more? <laughs> Holy crap, man. Holy crap. The next cost is gonna be 3,500, 4,000. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> this point just give me an like uh maybe later i'm poor right now you sucked you sucked every freaking pokey dollar out of me dude this is not right you shouldn't be doing this to a child you know that too bad how much space now holy by golly f <laughs> holy crap 16 times f holy crap we got 80 items we got 80 plus freaking items this is ridiculous Oh no, it's not. <laughs> and I thought I had more space. I thought I had more space. But I only have this much pathetic space. This, this is rip off. off. Oh man. I, I got excited there. I thought we got like 80 spaces. <laughs> I thought I had 80 spaces. But no, we get this pathetic amount. <laughs> uh... mm. 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 What a ripoff, man. What a ripoff. How are things, my good friend? Oh, Volo! Hello! I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstruck technique I taught you to good use. Yes, it's helping a lot, Volo. And honestly, when I was editing, his vibe is just so mysterious, including that haircut. It feels familiar. But how are you, Volo? Either way, I have some super potions here, just for you. Oh, it's a free charge? Oh, think nothing of it. 
having a survey corps out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know? Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Nice! Thanks, Velo! Thank you! Three, three, three super potions. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Bye, Volo. One hour later. Any special Pokemon around here? It's just a bit abandoned here. That was really close. Yeet! Yes, right there! Please, 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 please. Of course. Maybe if- while well, it's distracted. Hold on. Is there anything- does anything say about Lux, Luxio's other things? Uh, garden. Preferred foods. Ah, I see. It's a mushroom. I see. Springy mushroom. If I give it springy mushroom, it should- it should be able to, like, make the chances better. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Give them the preferred foods, and they'll abide to it. They'll, loose, they'll, they'll loosen the guards, so that way it's capturable. You, you like springy mushrooms, right? You like it, yeah? Ah! Alright, you're mine now. Ah, really now? That, that was just too far. Oh, come on. Come on, I want that Luxio. I want that Luxio. Yeah, over there, over there. Go after it. I guess not. What the heck was that about? Come on. Holy crap! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! You're a good Luxio, okay? You're a good Luxio. I just want you. I just want you as a companion is all. Please, 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 please. <gasps> I got it! I got it! I'm going to the pastures. I'm going to have him in my team! Oh, puckers! Oh, but it's level 40. Oh, I don't think it's gonna listen to me. Uh, at least I got that Luxio Alpha. At least I got that Luxio al al Alpha. And once I get past, like, once I get another star and can listen to up to 50, right? If I believe 50, then I will have him in my team. Thunderfang! Okay, I made a huge mistake. Everything went blank. <gasps> oh, I drop items? No, I was not told of that. I was not told of that. I lost my XP candy. No, I need that for Hoodle. Okay, don't drop down like an idiot again. Like that. Oh, but that's a long way down. That is a long way down. Oh, I lose those items forever. Damn it! Okay, I might have to level up Pokemon for for a while because these Pokemon seem to have a level of 15 and above, so 50 to 20. So I do need to level up a bit more. One hour later. Let's finally talk to the gatekeeper. Oh, it really is a boy. I am Leon of the Pearl Clan, the warden to the Clevar, Lord of the Woods. Oh boy. And you, I already deduced that you've come here to meet Clevar. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it cl so clearly. After all, the powerful, awesome Clevar has become even more awesomely powerful. <sighs> That's, that was like a mouthful, to be honest. Perhaps the strange lightning the other day was the almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Clever right now. Well, that's that then. 
Julie, you mean to simply give up? Is it your passion for clever so paltry? But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Irida that I am to let no one near Clevar. I will fight you off m myself to if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can. Or face the wrath of my gloomy. I'm gonna bow. I'm going to bow. If anything, I could just go around you. I could just go around you now. Whee! See, I'm here already. See, I'm here. Look at that, I'm here already. I don't I don't need I don't need him. I I have I have the space to myself now. <laughs> I'll take you on. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this fool foolish troublemaker. Gumi? Who's Gumi? Oh, that's Gumi! <laughs> that's Gumi. I was wondering about this. Agile style, go! Nice, nice, nice. Acid spray. That was super effective, alright. Gust! Strong style! You can do it, you can do it, Hudo! Wow! Good job, Hudo! Is that what your Gumi has to offer? Pathetic. How can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Clevar now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him with is a flurry of de devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering. Okay. A nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It's usually enough to please him and suit the prick prickliest of moods. But even I, Clever's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give him any offerings now. Not with the way Clever is rampaging and running the monk. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Clever, White Deer, and their co cohort drew on Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it's said. It's by the grace of that our clan that any of us still lives in Vasisui today. Irida, what are you doing here? As you say, Clever has grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could that bolt have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Oh my god, that's that's what's going on. I was confused when Adamant said that, because Adamant said by the true almighty Sinnoh, which they assume Dialga was. And then the Pearl Clan, they think Dialga is the true Sinnoh. The true Sinnoh is my god, Arceus, the horse god himself. God Horsey, okay? I'm not gonna, st I'm not gonna stop calling him God Horsey. <laughs> it's a horse, okay? It's a horse. Clever means so much to our clan. I'd hope we'd bring this situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Clever from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with the, both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me. Could you galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. That is my job. Very well. Lee and I will gather foods that please Clever in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of Vasasui. Okay, so how the heck am I gonna figure it out? I never even learned anything except for what the Pro Clan has to offer and whatnot, but like, I was very curious what they have to offer offer. I'm back, Lavington. Good to see you, Zarin. And how is your research into Clever going? Swimmingly, I expect? Kinda-ish. 
Oh, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So serving of his favorite foods will normally make Clevor quite agreeable. Is that it? I need to mow this ba over back to the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. So according to the information you were able to learn from Irida and Leon of the Pearl Clan, were this normal course of events that frenzied Clevor would be claimed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these food might combine in a way that would not only calm Clevor but draw him back from his frenzy? But by our own report, even Clever's warden, who looks after Clever and knows him well, cannot approach him in this current state. It would be a fool's gamut to get close enough to offer him food. Give me a moment if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Okay. Deduction time! He's becoming Professor Layton in an instant. Eureka! You found a way? We'll simply have to throw the food. You've quite the arm of throwing things, haven't you? Are you kidding me? That's your answer? That is your answer, to throw food at a more respected Pokemon of the Pearl Clan. Might I suggest you take Clever's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Uh, elaborate, please? Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Clevor's beloved foods into balls, then throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles, well, how about tea time balls? Puts one in mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? That is actually good. That is actually a good one. Why wouldn't you simply call them Laventon Balls, Professor? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't bode well. <laughs> that doesn't bode well. That doesn't bode well at all. Uh, uh, that doesn't bode well at all. Oh my, but that name, it sounds like I'm the one being launched at our frenzied fall. Not just you, it's your fellow friends down there. <laughs> sounds so stupid. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary food stuff, correct? Mm hmm. Oh, my! Hi, my! My, my! That Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh, yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Ooh! Hello, Adamant, and... We... Why, dear? Why, dear? Why, dear? Ha! You, you thought I was gonna make the pun, yeah? I spoke to Why, dear, about what's been going on. I told him of how you've been trekking all over the field and seeking a way to quell Clever's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell from through the rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. White Ears found you worthy, you see, which means you'll need to flute like we have. This is very important, so listen well. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Wow, that sounds amiss. That sounds amazing. That's a celestial flute that Mai just played. Celestial? Ooh, that's a nice name. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on Wydeer so you can ride upon him. Awesome. It's that the celestial flutes were gifts from Almighty Sino itself. And now, this one's yours. <gasps> I get to ride him! Celestica Flute, a flute that can be used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. Its timbre is eerie and mysterious. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. Oh, okay. Let's go! You like that? My dear opened his art and learned well 
that sound of you pl you're playing. <gasps> Can I ride you? Oh. <gasps> oh my god! No way! Okay. I kind of have a thing. I kind of have a idea of what's going on now. I kind of have an idea now. So what they mean by blessed? Pokemon that were blessed by a Pokemon uh, by the Almighty Sinnoh. I'm guessing this is the power they were bestowed. This is the power from the true Almighty Sinnoh. Mind plate. And of course, for those who know, these plates are the keys to making Arceus God Horsey! Mind plate. A stone tablet imbued with the, an essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the psychic type. Now, use that celestial flute wisely and gallop across the land with a great, great wide ear. You got a frenzied Pokemon to quell at Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With wide ear, you can gallop across the field in no time. Thank you, Adamant and Mai. I can call wide ear and gallop across the land. Wide ear? Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Whee! Whee! Oh, okay, you still get hurt. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that's so fast. Woo! Uh oh, whoa, whoa, I think I almost glitched to the world. World of Asui for this vastness. Woo! Oh, God. Horses do not run into trees. <laughs> that's that's a Zelda reference. Let's go! Hello, fit. Hello, fellow Pearl Clan. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. So you say that Galaxy people come up with this method to try quell Lord Clever's frenzy? Uh huh. What? You mash up Clever's favorite foods into balls you can throw offerings at him? I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have a little choice but to turn to, to the galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. The galaxy team people don't share our customs to our values. Or our values. So prove me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. Oh my god. Got a battle again? I don't like my Hudo getting hurt! I will hurt you if you're gonna hurt him! You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in the little Pokeballs. But on my side, I, but on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you in Clever's fate. Will you battle us? Glaceon! Hold on! I'm not surprised that this would be too much to ask for a strange outsider from the sky. Oh, excuse me. Fine. You want me to beat your Glaceon to Adams? <laughs> no, that's drastic. Yes, I will. I have Ponita. I don't have my Hudo. Hudo, you can just stay back, okay? All right. Flame Wheel. Ponita, use Ember. Strong style. Good job, Ponita. To be fair, Arita, if you didn't mention Glaceon, I would have actually used Hoodle, and you would have won! Which I would have been really mad about. I can do something worse. Well, that was a bit dark of me. That was a bit dark of me, sorry. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Of course. You still understand that Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see to your Pokemon's wounds. It literally is by choice, whether or not you have your Pokemon out, or have it in a Pokeball, where it's safe for them, in a sense, but still in your, like, protection. And they can protect you as well whenever you you need them. Just like how Pikachu, Pikachu, he do Ash doesn't want Pikachu in a ball. He wants him out because it's his choice. Now, explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? 
Make them to rice balls. So because you have to keep your distance, you mash Clever's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by... throwing them at him? Very well. It will help soothe Clever's frenzy. Let's make these bombs with our very hearts and souls. Oh wow. That's a lot. Let's go. I'm ready. As am I. Here we go. Almighty Clevar, Lord of the Woods, though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Zarin. Keep your focus on Clevar. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Got it. Oh, I'm scared. Crash! Uh oh. Oh, 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 he's a fast one. Woo -hoo -hoo! Axe for hands, alright. Wow. What plate do you have? Lord of the Woods. Clever. <laughs> Holy crap! Battling Pokemon Nobles. To claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle and the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs can be more effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. Okay, so I don't have to capture them. Let's go! Ah! Holy crap! Oh, I see, I see. Okay, this is an interesting battle. Okay, okay. So I'm guessing you have the earth plate. Or ground plate. Yeah, what I'm guessing is he has a ground plate or the rock plate. Ah, dang it. Oh, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go! Oh, dang it! Okay, let's go! Let's go, Hoodle! Double hit! Uh-oh! Hard-hitting stance. Magical Leaf! Go! Okay, not that bad, not that bad, not that bad. Air Slash! Oh! Sweet Hoodle! You will you will die! No, no, I must control my rage. I must control my rage. Strong attack! Go! Strong Strong style! Roll out! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Strong style! Roll out! Good job, good job, good job. Wazelle, use use Aqua Jet, strong style. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ah! Oh god, oh god. There we go. There we go. Last one? Oh, there we go. Whoa, that was a lot of level ups. Insect plate. Oh, never mind. Never mind. An insect plate. Okay. 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 Insect plate. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of bugs. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the bug type. Yep. Ah. Oh. Oh. Where are you going, Clevar? Huh. What happened? 
Some kind of light erupted from Clever's body. Has Lord Clever's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Yes. Yes, Leon. Does this confirm that strange lightning was to blame for Clever's unnatural power? Mm-hmm. Maybe. But I know for certain. But yeah, maybe. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We, we know strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift from the other night. Those bolts must have struck Clever and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, then that strange lightning... It, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power? Then... Were we even right to try and interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew I was doing like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous! Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power set by the true almighty Sinnoh have driven Clever to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Zorin accomplished just now, it needed to be done. Yes, Leon, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokemon in the group with this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm. Yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for being briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Of course, Leon. Head pat. <laughs> Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier, and I'll token my thanks. And I must also say, I apologize for my rude, violent threats. But I apologize. Three citrus berries. I take back my apology. <laughs> I take back my apology. All that for citrus berries. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall f out from the sky. Though I still cannot imagine the reasons of play. And it seems we've settled things here. Though, between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Clever in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. Hey you, Leon. Goodness sake. And they're gone already. I gotta stop fooling around and head back. Because I do need to make episode today, so let's head back. Off we go! Charge! Charge! Whee! 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 This is so funny. This trying is so funny. Whee! Oh! Hello! I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. Mm-hmm. And what do you have there? Could it be... Those two are the fabled plates of old! Please, let me have a look! Oh, he knows! He knows of them! I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see, this one says... Where all creation was born, that is the bean's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? They were on the nobles. I see. So you were given the plates when you impressed Wydeer and Clevor? That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing in excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across his Sui. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how, the, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. See ya, Volo! 
I even like eating Volo as well. Hmm. Well done. I have already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Clever's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to his Sui's people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the Galaxy team admirably. I admit you earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies as elsewhere, in a Sui. So carry on with your research and survey duties, and prove that you are truly an asset to us. That is all. You are dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. Alright! The Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Mission complete. Ah, oh, I love that these episodes can just end at the Wallflower. I like it. I love it. I might as well just end it like this as well. Benny, Ochum, the usual order. Three surveys of potato mochi, please. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend here, you know? Seems quite some luck of having to come back unharmed after facing off against a Clevar. I dare say Zorin was all well prepared. And he was a quick study of how Clevar moved in battle, from what I heard. And all in all, it was a very good show. A victory well earned. We can feel safer going about our survey corps duties now, thanks to your efforts. Oh, by the way, why not we try crafting some of these? I made the recipe based on directions Benny gave me. Smoke bombs. Ooh, smoke bombs! Nice! And now that we need not worry about being mauled by Clever, either. Let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Fieldlands their home. Yes! That will continue in the next episode. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Zorin. Uh, hello? Yes? I've been waiting for you, Zorin. My name's Vessa. Vessa? There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Uh, sure? Please leave a like and subscribe and share this video and this channel to everyone. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will help me to get towards to that goal of 10,000 subscribers. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.